We all are familiar with fog, but have you wondered what it is or how it forms? Put simply, fog is a cloud at the surface. Meteorologically, when visibility falls below 1000 meter with relative humidity greater than 75%, we call it fog. However, smog is defined as combination of fog and smoke when there is low visibility and low humidity. Like a cloud, fog is made up of millions of tiny water droplets or ice crystals that form when air is cooled close to the earth's surface and water vapor within it condenses. These droplets are light enough to remain suspended in the air. Fog is a complicated yet simple weather event in which the visibility in air drops to less than 1 km. The typical necessary condition which helps fog formation is overnight cooling of land by thermal radiation which in turn cools the air close to the surface. This reduces ability of the air to hold moisture or water vapors which are otherwise present normally in the air and are popularly referred as humidity. Gradually, when water vapors completely saturate the air, the water drops start to condense. That is, the gas turns back into liquid or water. These droplets of water remain suspended in the air and appear as thick haze, called fog. Hence, we may call fog as a visible mass consisting of cloud water droplets suspended in the air or near the land surface. There are several different types of fog, each forming under different conditions. Depending on the origin and formation, six different types of fogs are identified across the world. But the fog on Indian landmass is typically radiative fog and advective fog. Radiation fog forms in situ at night under clear, cold and relatively calm conditions when water vapor close to the cold ground condenses as it cools. This fog is localized event and mostly formed in the morning lasting for few hours. Advection fog forms when moist warm air flows over a relatively cold surface and is cooled. When this happens, the air can no longer hold moisture and so condenses forming fog. Normally during November to mid-December and in the month of February, radiation fog occur in North India. During peak winter of mid-December to end January, North India gets covered with mix of advective fog and radiation fog. Dropping of visibility in significant proportions causes serious road accidents, halts train journeys resulting long delays and also leads to diversion or cancellation of flights. Agricultural operations also get affected badly. Power sector also feels the pinch. All this adds to large-scale miseries of people and also hit the economy. Dense fog, characterized by dropping of visibility below 200 meters, is a serious issue of concern for general public, whether scientists and stakeholder agencies all alike. On an average, 62 to 80 days of fog, when visibility drops to less than 1000 meters, hit the North India every year but their number, intensity and duration are rising steadily, giving sleepless nights to concerned agencies. India morning per visibility days have increased from 6.7% to 27.3% days. Land use changes and increasing pollution in the region are mainly responsible for growing fog meanness. Major part of North and Northeast India being covered by three major rivers that is Indus, Brahmaputra and Ganges. The area often gets high moisture helping the fog to remain for longer time. Hence, recently fog prediction has taken a center stage on the weather related research agenda. In recent years, climate scientists have been collaborating to understand fog better and improve forecasting.